Craig Kachopa struck his best ever T20 score of 89 not out to take Sussex to a seven wicket win with eight balls to spare in the NatWest T20 blast as he and Matt Machen shared an unbroken fourth wicket stand of 144 to take their side over the line at the Aegeus Bowl against Hampshire. Luke Wright won the toss and inserted and it was the normally fluent start by both James Vince and Michael Carberry on a gorgeous evening in Southampton. The early bound is coming most notably from the Hampshire skipper who'd seen his side move to the top of the South group with a comfortable victory at Lords on the previous night. Carberry for once didn't have the best of nights with the bat, a missed time pull off Timal Mills landing safely into the hands of Chris Little at short fine leg with a score on 32 for one in the fifth over. Vince looked in sublime form though and with him moving quickly onto 31, Hampshire made 49 for one in the six overs of power play. The last ball of the field restrictions seeing Jimmy Adams hit Ollie Robinson over mid wicket for the first six of the night. As ever for the Sharks, Michael Yardy and Will Beer now came on to try to slow things down, but Vince swept the former for a six to move on to 41. But a promising innings was then brought to an end as the batsman was stumped, his knock finishing after 24 balls of real entertainment. At the halfway point of the innings, the score read 76 for three for the home team. Adams falling to Machen, a rare wicket for the Scottish international, but a very valuable one as the batsman was on his way for 21. It was an inspirational bit of captaincy from Wright to bring Machen on for just a single over. The Sharks would have been very pleased with their evening's work at this stage and it got even better when Sean Irvin picked out Robinson in the deep off the returning beer for five at 86 for four in over number 12. The boundaries had started to dry up a bit. This one from Adam Wheater, a rare one off Yardy, whose four overs cost only 26 runs and included the big wicket of Vince. The 100 was up in the 14th over with Wheater just started to find his range, but Hampshire still required a big finish to their innings, something they've managed to do on a number of occasions this year. With five overs to go, Hampshire had a score of 112 for four on the board and it was now time for O.A. Shah to start playing some shots. He went long off beer for this six. Other boundaries followed just when the home side needed them. Shah and Wheater also providing Hampshire with something else they needed at this stage, a partnership. And this one was developing nicely as we moved into the latter stage of the innings. That standard realised 54 runs in six overs when Shah on a 26 ball 36 tried to go big off Robinson but edged his shot high into the sky and into the gloves of Ben Brown behind the stumps. Shah was out in the 18th over with a score on 140 for five. Wheater followed at the start of the last over knowing he was going to be caught by Mate in the moment he missed timed his shot off a Robinson full toss. The batsman doing a good job though as he made 26 off 23. Gareth Berg on his Hampshire T20 debut and Will Smith finally carried the total to 157 for six. Not as many as their side would have hoped for, but it was one that would at least give their bowlers something to defend. Wright opened up with Brown as Sussex began their reply. The former with a fierce square cut, which was spectacularly held at backward point by Smith at full stretch. It was a sensational bit of fielding. Just the kind of thing to lift a team who may have fancied they had fallen a little short with the bat. Chris Wood had figures of two for four from his first over. Mahela Jayawardena unable to leave the Sharks with a match-winning performance as he edged to drive behind after making only four. So the visitors were two down with 12 runs on the board after two overs and that became 14 for three in the third. Berg striking in his first over as Brown lobbed a shot to Irvin in the covers. The experiment of trying the keeper at the top of the order in place of the absent Chris Nash not working on this occasion. Those wickets had immediately set Sussex back and it was left to Kachopa and Machen to take the score up to 35 for three at the end of the six overs of power play. In terms of T20 cricket, these two batsmen were now in and so all was by no means lost for their side, even though they had a lot of work to do from here to turn this game around. The problem for them now is that Hampshire had their two spinners on and they'd gone for combined figures of four for 47 from their eight overs in that win over Middlesex. And they now delivered four boundary free overs 
which left Sussex on 54 for three after 10, 104 more needed. These sixes from Machen and Kachopa in Danny Briggs's third over finally broke the shackles. The two batsmen had bided their time and now looked to make hay. 19 runs came off the 11th over and Kachopa cleared the rope again in the next one as the Sharks started to make a dent in their target. This pen now rewarded for their earlier patience. Smith was now out of the attack too with figures of naught for 26. Kachopa played an excellent hand, his half century coming up off 37 balls with four fours and two sixes. He brought up his side's 100 in the 14th over and we now had a real game on. This pair timing their partnership perfectly as that too moved into three figures with Kachopa's third maximum when Briggs was brought back on to bowl his final over. It left the Sharks 42 runs to find from the final five overs. A new ball was required when Kachopa sent a delivery from Yasser Arafat out of the ground as he passed his previous best T20 score of 79. It was fast becoming a one-man show. Mayton's role, however, should not be underestimated. He backed up his partner magnificently, sometimes playing within himself to allow Kachopa to keep going at the other end. The target was now down to just eight off two overs. And the game was won with eight balls to spare. Machen passing his 50 off 44 to complete a quite extraordinary victory for the Sharks. The partnership between these two ending unbeaten on 144 with Kachopa scoring 89 off 54 and Machen 56 off 45. So the Sharks took the game by seven wickets and now move within one point of the top four and with at least one game in hand on all of those teams in the top four of the South group. Hampshire dropped to second and next go to Essex next Friday while Sussex are in blast action again on Sunday against Glamorgan and Cardiff.